We're going to talk about histograms and frequency tables. My learning target is I can interpret numeric data summarized in histograms. So a histogram is a graph that shows the frequency of data. If you don't know what frequency means, it basically means how often something occurs. Think of mode as most often. Mode is the number that has the highest frequency in your data set. So here's an example. Fill in the frequency table from the histogram that represents how many tickets were sold um, to each family at a carnival. So I'm looking at this graph. This graph on the Y graph is telling me, uh, Y axis is telling me frequency. Um, the X axis is number of tickets and it's giving me a range 5 to 10 tickets, 11 to 15, 16 to 12. 21 to 25, 26 to 30. So I'm going to fill out this table. So you may notice a histogram kind of looks similar to a bar graph, but it is a little bit different. So there is a total of, let's see, 11, 19, 14, 15, 25. So 25. So how do we find our percent? 4 out of 25. All right, so that's how we fill out that frequency table for that histogram graph. All right, next one, we're going to create a histogram graph from the frequency table. So we have our age of students. And then we have... The y-axis is age and years. The x-axis is number of students.
All right, we want to go up to 20, so start at zero. And we have our age range. All right, and then we have 20 is five to six. Seven to eight is 15. There's 12, nine to tens. And then 13. All right, that's my histogram. All right, so now I'm going to answer questions from the histogram. What fraction of students are the ages of 7 to 8 years old? So that's 15 out of a total of, let's see, 20 plus 15 plus 12 plus 13. So out of 60, so 50 out of 60, and I can simplify that, divide by 5. So that is 3, 12. I can simplify that even more to 1 fourth. All right, what is the age range, or what age range is the mode of the data table? So that has the highest frequency. So that is from five to six years old. How many students attend this elementary school? We already found the total that was 60 students. How many students are younger than nine years old? So that is here and here. So 20 plus 15 is 35. So 35 students. All right, how many students are older than eight years old? So we have 12 and 13. Then what fractions, what fraction of the students are ages five to six? So ages five to six is 20 out of 60. I can simplify this. That is one third. 